gentlemen. Welcome to Indian Harmonica Day Celebration 2014. This is Saurabh Upadhyay and Nityam, your host for tonight. All right, so today we are gathered here on this auspicious occasion of Indian Harmonica Day 2014. Now we would like to uh, introduce you to our guru. Uh, probably Nityam will tell you much more about him. Okay. So a mediocre teacher tells, a good teacher explains, and the superior teacher demonstrates. But the great teacher, he inspires. They inspire you, they entertain you, and you end up learning lots of lessons when you don't even know you're learning them. Hereby, I would like to int introduce all of you to my guru, Mr. Vinayak, who's sitting right there, and under whose guidance and technical expertise, Halo has cherished to this level, and today we all are here to witness it. I request Mr. Vinayak to please address the gathering, and a huge round of applause for Mr. Vinayak. My namaste to you all. Thank you them for the great introduction of mine. Uh, I would like to talk about Harmonica Lovers of Hyderabad. Harmonica Lovers of Hyderabad was formed on Vijayadashmi Day in the year 2009, that is Dasra. And since last five years, we have been trying to promulgate, uh, promote this little instrument. Last, as you know, since last three years, we are conducting this day as a harmonica day. And today, we have a very talented and very cherished, my friend, a guest, today's chief guest, Sumanta Brashu from Calcutta is here with us. I request Sumanta Brashu to please come over the stage. I request my old friend and president of Harmonica Lovers of Hyderabad, Mr. Ramana, to present a bouquet to our chief guest, Sri Sumanta Basho. Now I request Mr. Mahender Gala to present a flower bouquet to Mr. Rajiv. Rajiv Srivastava is from Dubai. He has come all the way to attend this program. Now I would like to call upon stage Mr. G. Rajkumar to present a flower bouquet to our other guest, Mr. Sanat Kumar. Mr. Vivek will be presenting the bouquet to Mr. Ramesh. He's uh, all the way here from US. So I guess we should uh, really applaud that. Almost all of us might have witnessed lamp lighting ceremonies before, but have any one of you ever wondered why do we light, why to light a lamp? Why not a tube light or a bulb? Like, that would suffice the purpose of lightning too. But it has a spiritual significance. That is, when we light a lamp, the oil or ghee in the lamp symbolizes the vasanas or the negative tendencies, and the wick represents our ego. When lit by a knowledgeable person, the vasanas slowly get exhausted, and the ego too finally perishes. So today we have our chief guest, Mr. Sumanta Basu. I would like him to please come on the stage, light, light the, lamp. the lamp, accompanied by Mr. Vinayak.